Yo guys, what is going on and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to submit an application in order to get your map featured on the block. Now the block was introduced alongside creative mode and basically what it is is actually a location where any player can get their creation from creative mode featured in Battle Royale. Now in order to do this, there's a few guidelines that Epic has put forth in order for people to follow and actually submit their map properly so that they can see it. So if you guys have been to the block before, it actually does change just about every single week. Now, it started changing about three weeks ago, ever since creative mode came out. And basically, if you guys don't know what this location is, it's basically someone went into creative mode, made this map, and Epic Games liked it so much that they decided to put it into Battle Royale. Now, at any point in time, if your map actually does get selected, you will be highlighted on the Fortnite social channels and will also get an in-game shout out. So if you guys are YouTube creators or just want to get your name out there in general, this is a pretty good way to do that if you can make something unique. So there are pretty specific guidelines that Epic Games does want you to follow, and there's also certain criteria that you have to meet in order for your map to even be considered. So we're going to get right on into the rules for this little competition that Epic is holding and exactly what you'll need to do in order to get your map selected. So if we go back to the Fortnite team's post from December 6th, we will actually see the rules and regulations lined out for us. So to kick things off, we're going to provide a few guidelines to make the submission process smooth. Here's what we're looking for. 25 by 25 tile area on a flat section of your island. It's very important that your creation can fit nicely on the block. Now originality does matter, so you don't want to copy other people or just go on YouTube and try to find other people's ideas and steal them because they will check the timestamps and will know when exactly these builds were made and be able to tell if someone has copied. Now on top of that, you want to try to keep the memory used less than 50,000 because they are looking for efficiency, which basically what that means is they want to make sure that your map will be able to load properly in Battle Royale. They don't want people glitching out or lagging around when they try to land at the block. So it's very important that it does go somewhere around 50,000. Now on top of that, you can use pretty much any component available and the chest floors and loot will all be selected by Epic. So you don't really need to worry about throwing that stuff in there. Now, other than that, that's pretty much everything that you guys are allowed to build and do within the block to get your map selected. Now, if you guys have already made a creation and you just want to submit it, you don't really need to know about the regulations or anything like that. You just don't know how to get your map submitted. You will need to submit a video of your map on some form of social media. Now, when you do submit this, you do want to make sure that you use the hashtag Fortnite Block Party so that Epic Games can find it when they go and search for these maps. Now, personally, I don't really think that the submission process is all that fair, and I'm not really sure how many maps that Epic Games can look through every week. But until Epic Games does put a better system in place, this is really the only way that we have to submit our maps. So whether you make a YouTube video, an Instagram post, or a Twitter video of you just walking around your map, whatever you do submit that video, you want to just make sure that you use that hashtag Fortnite Block Party. Now, there's actually one more thing that you guys do need to keep in mind when trying to submit your map because there's something pretty specific that you need to do in creative mode so that you can make sure that your map fits with the regulations. So we're going to load into creative mode. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to get started on your very own block. So just load up creative mode and head over to your portal with your name over it. Now, once you get up to your portal, you do want to set the destination by holding square and scroll all the way down to the very bottom. Now, once you get to the bottom of the list, you will see that there is the block one and the block two. You want to select one of these islands and then jump through the rift portal in order to get started. Now, these block islands that you're selecting are the exact dimensions of the block in Battle Royale so that you do not build over the limit and so that you fit in with the requirements that I talked about before. So once you guys load into your block, you can pretty much just start placing whatever you'd like, any sort of building floor, it doesn't really matter. And then when you're ever you're done, you just want to make a video of you walking around and use that hashtag Fortnite block party whenever you submit that video. Now, hopefully this video does help you guys out to submit your block. Now, if you end up submitting your block, it'd actually be pretty cool if you were to submit the video link down below in the comments. I wouldn't mind taking a look at what you guys are building. It'd be pretty cool to see what my subscribers are up to and how creative some of you guys can be. And then honestly, if I found a map that was really cool, I could even feature it here on the channel and use your guys' name, of course. We'll give you guys credit for your builds. So if you guys end up building something pretty crazy that you want me to take a look at, be sure to drop a comment down below and I will definitely take the time to look at the map. Other than that though, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. So hopefully it helps you some of you guys out. Have a great rest of your day and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.